number two, Sean Manganti. And also at forward from Pangasinan, number three, Jason Perkins. Double zero, Maverick Ahadmisi. At forward from San Simon, Pampanga, number three, Jaime Malonzo. You're talking about Jonathan Williams, the best import of the conference in the Commissioner's right. Cup, and all of a sudden, you have a gaping hole in the middle. Who can provide, you know, that, that sense of interior defense and rebounding and scoring as well? For the focus of their offense because of, as you mentioned, no deal, big man or center here for Phoenix. Jonathan Williams plugged in back injuries really are difficult to assess because one minute you feel that you're, you've already recovered and then you quickly find out that you have not. Gonna JJ Alejandro to take the cudgels uh, for Tyler Dio. That's another player who was oh. given a friend. This is now the tall front line of Palangay Nebla that we were talking yep. about with Malonzo Aguilar, Stan Hardinger, but it's still a three-point sh shoot fest here for Palangay Nebla. 16 to 12, a four-point advantage for Ginebra. Perkins wide open from deep. That's good. RR goes to Matthew. And then Perkins steps out another three on the way. It's good again. Chapman cannot give him that much space. They have to let uh, Jason Perkins put the ball on the floor as well because they have a lot of help anyway there with Stan Hardinger and Malonzo. 28 points in his first game. He wants more than that this time around. Christian Stan Hardinger with a couple of three-point shots to keep them in this ball. Eight points already because both coaches really put a premium on the defensive side. Two Daves against smaller defenders and he takes full advantage of it. Very ironic that all three big men, including Malonzo, were yeah. outside the outside the yeah. paint. So that's those are nice offensive schemes that Coach Jamaica does. Jamie draws the contact and connects with the shot. He'll be taking the bonus free throw right here. He puts the ball on the floor against a shorter player for that three-point play. This best move of the game is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle. Barangay Ginebra has three fouls to give, but that's not the philosophy of Coach Tim. Richie Rivero gets the step, Pinoy step. Oh my goodness, what a beauty from Richie. One. As uh, Richie Rivero shows us the mastery of that move. They for Coach Tim Cohn, they're down by three points, 26 to 23. Christian on the move, off the spin, sets up Pesumal from the corner, three-point shot is good. Simon Camacho tagged with it, but look at this move from Christian against a triple team. That means just one of your teammates, well, two of your teammates are bound to be open. But, but you know. Pesumal gets a touch, 12 seconds on the shot clock. That is a sloppy pass, easily stolen by Mokon. Camacho tries to leak out, the reverse lip is good. Minute and 30 seconds. Into this second quarter, Coach Tim Cohn burns his 30-second timeout. Turnover, leading to an easy bucket. We were talking earlier how you cannot... LA sets up Chapet. Fake, he adjusts, gets his own rebound. He is fouled, and one opportunity. <laughs> Napaganda pa for Chapet Aguilar. Entire Phoenix side asking for a traveling violation. He just threw that ball out. Now, no, the app, I to play or the app store. You can also watch by Filipinas live.com. Somehow, Phoenix was not able to get a basket in that play, and they're burned with a three point shot from Pesumal. That hurts if you're Phoenix. That was a wide open layup from uh, Mokon that led to a three pointer from Pesumal. So, so six points already in the game for Vaughn. Get this, Barangay Ginebra is six of 12 from downtown. Richie Rivero responds with his own three. Big shot from Richie. Your Phoenix, you're, like, you're liking where you are right now, just staying within striking oh, distance. Yes. What a find coming from JV Mokon as he locates a Muyang wide open. You were built for this. <laughs> Points in the paint, dominant for Phoenix, 24 to 8. Stan Hardinger on the drive all alone, and that one crawls in. Leading the attack now for Barangay Ginebra. LA wants to add to the lead, can't get it that time. But Jamie gets the offensive rebound, and he backs it home. Pinto, 
Kicks it out to Mao. They swing it around. Pringle for three. Gets this one to drop. Too many open looks, and he also took the time to remind Phoenix to sprint back because they haven't been running their pace, they haven't been dictating the speed that they're known for, and what Coach Mike really wants to see. Think about, about Coach Jamai coming yeah. in. Right? As we take another look at this block from uh, Stan Hardinger. 7.2, still enough time. Put up a good shot here. Something sends it out to Manganti. Sean attacks. Manganti scores again. So good answer from Phoenix, 4 to nothing after that timeout by Coach Jamai. Ralph Go, three-point shot is good. He was left to open. Phoenix not respecting his ability to sink that long ball. I mean, you can do that with, with Onwo Bele, but uh, Ralph Kuh, yeah. the reason why he's there is because he's a three-point shooter. Oh, what a pass! An even better rejection from Alonso! Ahan Misi kicks it out, Alonso! Short on the triple. Rebound picked up by Manganti. Mohon goes to the other side to score. As we begin our second half of action with Phoenix having possession. They have Kenneth Duncan, Jason Perkins, R.R. Garcia with Chris Lalata and Manganti. And R.R. Garcia opens our scoring with a triple. Look at this. Coach Jamai Karin playing even smaller than his starting unit with no Raul Soyun. It's, Ber it's Perkins taking on Stan Hardinger and Lalata. Oh, that is the second three-point shot of Ralph Koo in this ball game. Look at that pass. The extra one to Ralph Koo down low. A little too deep there. He dribbles out. Pinto, three on the way. It's good again. They're getting deflections. Oh, a Stan Hardinger three. That will not work. Oh, another crack at it for Barangay Ginebra. Ralph Koo launches and converts. Third. Triple all the ball. Game. Even the UAP played better in DX3 than the sure, final. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they actually almost won it, right? Lost it to USD, yep. I believe, in the final. Yes. With a Sherwin Concepcion uh, three point, two point explosion. But again, it, it, it's also finding the right team. Yeah. Because Vanaka in there, you look at their lineup, they really need three point shooting at the forward position. Jamie Malonzo with another three. And Phoenix, if you're Phoenix, you just have to weather this storm. Great answer there, coming from Kenneth Duffin. Sometimes you just have to fight fire with fire, as Kenneth Duffin answers right back with his own triple. But that defense will be stretched outside for the Fuel Masters. Pinto, no gates Ahan Misi. Maverick makes his move. Pinto, open from the corner. Another three for Hinebra. 12 three-point shots made in their first game against Rainer Shine. They already have 13 and we still have 7 minutes and 10 seconds to play in the third quarter of action in this one. And that is the reason why. Yeah, another turnover of a timeout for Phoenix. They set up Ralph Koo. Unselfish basketball being employed by Barangay Ginebra. Ralph Koo walked away from it. He knew it was good. And that's just great basketball because Kuko could have taken the initial shot. He passed it to Pinto, relocated, and had a better shot. How about a dozen points as well for Ralph Kuo? Good pass inside there. As Kenneth Duffin will get an end one opportunity. So in of Barangay Ginebra. And those are easy looks. I mean, never mind that last three pointer by Kuo because that came off a turnover. Yeah. But this unit. Azul and uh, Richie Rivero, they played well towards the end of the first quarter. Oh, Richie with a steal, blind side against Japet. Richie scores a layup over Aguilar. Ten point disadvantage still. Make that 12 now, and that shot crawls in for Maverick Ahan Misi. Oh, might have been a dribbling violation there against Richie, but they turned the ball over anyway. On Wobere, the layup is good. Bit of burn here. Look at that quarter. 32 to 19 in favor of Barangay Ginebra. That shot falls. But there's still enough time to work on it. Jason David with a nice pass. What an unselfish play. Setting up Chapet Aguilar. 
you know, sometimes when you're not really part of the rotation, all you see is the rim, right? When you see an opportunity to score, you try to take it. As yes, Pringle will set it up, jump it! Will slam it home! On defense, the board pass to LA, and then Pringle, and of course, it's showtime and jab it. So the score is 83 to 64. Makanti could not connect from downtown. The back tap goes to RJ Hazul. He will also launch, and he will land another triple here. Gets the switch. LA with six to work with, cross court pass. David. Sends it to Onwo Bere. One more try. Finally, it falls. But it's not a three. It's just a long two-point shot. Toe on the line for Sydney. Kenneth Duffin with a much better look this time. When it's open, it's good. That's why they lost that third quarter because uh, their main man was scoreless. Oh, that's just a good cut from Jason David. And, and these bench players, one will be the David, they, they, they're playing the system. Nothing yet coming from Perkins. Jason trying to look for it, and finally he gets a basket here in the second half. He's just too gifted and too strong when he's going too too with strong his left side, hand. Yeah. And that's why he cannot be just attempt, attempting two attempts in that, court, in that third quarter, only two attempts for Jason Perkins. LA on the drive, the runner, the old familiar for LA Tenorio. This is Nepla playing like a whale, well oiled machine right now. No four shots, a lot of those baskets are assisted. Good kick out pass there as Perkins located JB Mopon. They're still fighting here and there's certainly enough time. time. And, then, and now they're, they're getting into the flow of their offense. Better three-point looks as compared to what they were putting up earlier. Jason David will miss this one. Good tap coming from Muyang. And now Mohon is on the drive. Manganti runs into trouble. It is taken away by Pringle. Stan Hardinger to David. Short corner jumper is good for two. Everyone is contributing here for Palangay and Epola. Jason Perkins, out there on the bump by Christian Stan Hardinger. Saying that it was his teammates that brought him here. That's why with scoring and longer minutes no longer in his mind, it's being the best teammate possible that's at least priority. The appearance of Raymond Aguilar in this ball game. And Brindle backs it home. Yeah, this is a squad still playing without their one-time league MVP in uh, Scotty Thompson. But you can see the level where they are at right now. So they're playing at a very high level. The three-point shooting has been amazing. The ball movement, of course. Sean Mangandi will try as the defense disconnected. Even if they're still up comfortably, Coach Tepcon not happy with that defensive effort. Pringle, another basket for him. As he continues to let it fly, he also reaches double digits with 10 now. 11 point lead in that one facet. And then the advantage in second chance points. That's been the difference of the ball game. With 340 remaining, 16 point lead. It's going to be tough, but they get a quick one. Courtesy of Larry Muyang on that early seal. To his presence. That opened up a three-pointer for Balangay Hinebla. A lot of those are not in the stat sheet, yeah. but that's uh, the presence of Christian. And Minute and 40 remaining in this ball game. Pringle for three. That will be the dagger here. Another assist from Stan Hardinger. Another triple for Pringle. Yes, 13. But you have to put out stronger effort in the second quarter. And, and Coach Jamaik, I'm sure, is still relearning, you know, the different combinations of what could help them be successful as well here in the Philippine Cup. And, and, and the fact that they're playing without an import. Yeah. And that will be your final score, a 10-point win.
for Barangay Ginebra, 102-92 against Phoenix.